Hello and welcome to Diablo 3. This is Monster Panther PSM. Today we're going to be doing a Demon Hunter build for, I say, control and damage because it does mince quite a lot of enemies and it is quite powerful in damage. Because this requires a lot on armor as well as your skills. I want to go for him both as well as your companion. See my last video got close to 50 views. So on this video, I'm going to go for see if I can get five likes and say two subs, two x two new subscribers. It would be nice if we can get that. So without further ado, here goes into into the skills of the class. For the first for the first skill, be your evasive fire, which. With the focus rune, all together that is fire at three enemies in a cage to perform an evasive backflip if any enemies are close. But with the focus rune, you increase the hatred generated instead of backflipping, which is important for this class build. is important for everything that in generates hatred. You want multi shot with arsenal rune. Fire a massive vol volley of arrows in an arc every time you fire launch multiple homing rockets this is going to be your primary attack that's mainly what you're going to be using to deal the most damage across a wider area and wipe out as much ads as possible the preparation with in forgive me if i butcher this name invigoration ruin which installs your focus well which restores your discipline sorry and within with the rune it increases your maximum discipline Second is Vault, which is you're basically using this one with the Tumble Rune, sorry, which reduces the Discipline cost if you Vault immediately after landing. The point of this one is to get out of combat quick if you're getting surrounded, or to move across the map quicker. So and then you want Companion with a Wolf Companion Rune. This act when activating this, your Wolf Howls, granting you and your allies increased damage for a short time. Yet again, this is good for dealing damage across everything. It is very important to have the Wolf Rune on for the damage. For the main ability, for one of the extra support abilities, you are wanting Vengeance with Seath Rune. Vengeance turned into a physical embodiment of vengeance. Increase hate, which with the Seath Rune, it also increases the hatred gain. Well, hatred regeneration while in this, which is brilliant because you're actually generating more hatred per a second as your hatred is going down. You're generating it twice, generating as quick as you're putting it up for your passives. You want archery, again, a bonus based on your weapon type. Bow, crossbow, hand crossbow, two-handed crossbow. Personally, I am using two... two Two one handed crossbows for an extra 5% critical hit chance. So I'm getting an extra 10% critical hit chance with that. Second one is passive. Two, you want tactical advantage. Whenever you use vault, shadow, power, smoke screen, or bat flip with evasive fire, you gain 6% movement speed for two seconds, like I said. Getting out in and out of combat. Again, ballistics increase damage of rockets by 100%. In addition, you have a 20% chance to fire homing rockets for 150% weapon damage when you attack. This is brilliant, mixed in with. The multi shot archery with helming rockets, you've got evasive fire with hatred gain. It's also fires helming rockets due to the ballistic skill. When you become the embodiment of vengeance, you're firing everything. I will show you that if it's regenerated. Ambush, you deal an ex deal 40% additional damage to enemies above 75% 70, health. Yeah, again, more dealing damage. For your powers, varies. I'm using these three at the minute, but these three others, which are a good mix. You've got a demon machine. 65% chance to shoot explosive bolts when attacking. When we've seen faint, well, when we see the fatal damage, there is a chance that you are instead restored 25% of maximum life and causing about enemies to flee. Encounters Julia's Camaro prevent all arcane damage taken and heal yourself with the 25% of the amount prevented. The other three that are good is the Dawn for the weapon, reduce the cooldown of vengeance by 65%. Syndicate reduces the resource cost of fire skills by 30%, sorry. And the Obsidian Ring of Zodiac reduce, <coughs> reduces the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second when you hit with a resource spending attack. And for the infantry, the items you are wanting. Me personally, I'm going with the hand crossbow, so Danetta's Spite and Danetta's Revenge are the two good ones to be having for one handed then you you want anything that increases your fire skill damage because of your rockets anything that increases your hatred regeneration 
anything well do anything that increases your hatred regeneration and fire skills and fire damage skills is your main two main things to be looking for is anything that increases your fire skill damage and the hatred regeneration and my vengeance is fully thing so i'll show you that you activate your vengeance you become the embodiment of vengeance when you're firing you are firing homing rockets as well as everything you basically have access to every skill one using this while you're in vengeance you have access to every skill it's quite op and quite quick and easy to butcher enemies within a short distance so the recording cut out but now is going to be a quick rift run with the class and the build that i've just gone through to so you can see it in action enjoy Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and yet again if there is any other class you would like to see don't forget to comment the name of the character down below.